Hey everybody, welcome back to another week at Felliger Racing. This week we need to go ahead, get this transmission out so we can put an LSD in it. This will be a several part video, but this week we're going to focus on removing the transmission itself. Okay, so we're on the top side of the motor first we're going to get everything out of the way so we have access to the transmission from the top and then we'll work our way down so the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove your intake this is our cork sport short ram and you're going to want to get rid of your battery With that out of the way, the next step is going to be to go ahead and remove your battery box and the ECU box. You've got some bolts right here, a bolt here, bolt here, and a bolt right here. And then we have a couple right there. So the next thing you're going to want to do is remove your shift linkage. These little tabs push in. This comes up. These little clips just kind of fold out of the way. The next thing you're going to want to do is remove this ground here. And then in here, you've got some plugs wiring harness and down in this area down here you have your slave cylinder for your clutch you're going to want to remove that don't remove your transmission mount just yet that there needs to stay so that it supports the engine At this point, we removed the clutch slave. We removed this bracket here. We removed another bracket right there. We undid this sensor, undid this sensor, and that there covers everything on the top side. The next step is, is you're gonna want to remove your axles on each side of the transmission we're at our side right now is i'm going to be popping the axle there's this axle nut we went ahead popped the axle nut off Okay, so at this time, we're going to cut our little wire. Axle came right out. As you can see, I mean, this sums up all this. But now we kind of have a little bit better access on this axle these can be a royal pain 
to get into. You kind of just have to fill your way. So here you are going to want to drain your transmission. This here is a 23 millimeter. Make sure you have a drain pan underneath. Okay, at this point you want to go ahead and undo these. We're going to be undoing all five of them for this, but your trans mount is now currently ready to come out. All right, welcome back. We went ahead and we ran into some problems, so we shut the camera off to deal with those. What we've done and our issue that we ran into is our subframe was not wanting to come down. So we tried to see if we could wiggle the transmission out without it going down. We have about this much space and we would have had it. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. So this rest of the video, we're gonna go through and show you how to actually pull the engine out itself. We've got the transmissions completely unbolted. Okay, so we're zoomed in, we're on the front side of the engine. Right here's your motor mount. Right down here is your serpentine belt. We're going to go ahead and remove the AC down here. We're gonna leave it in the vehicle. Most people don't have AC equipment, so you wanna leave it as intact as possible. First, on this particular car, this little uh, turn buckle down here for the hydraulic tensioner is a 17 millimeter. That you want to go ahead and push this back to loosen it. And then you're, you reach down, your belt will slip right off with no tension, you can go ahead, relieve that, take your tool off, and your belt comes out as well. That takes the belt out. So your next part is going to be removing your AC, which is this down here, there's one plug here, and then there's four bolts to undo it. That'll drop so you can slide it forward out of the way for the engine to come out and up. We will also undo this bracket here so that we can further swing it out you want to make it as clean and free moving out as possible you're going to want to do, undo we'll probably undo this right here leave the ground attached to the engine our motor mount will be coming out with it All right, AC compressor is out of the way. Next, we're on the back side of the engine. Right here's the ECU cord, all that good stuff. You wanna move it so it's out of your way. But you're gonna to wanna to undo these lines here. You wanna pop this clip and then that will tuck up and out of the way. The next one is this one right here. 
that just pops out that comes up this is a fuel line so you want to be careful of any fuel or anything like that that spills go ahead and snap that back in the next one you've got this clip right here and you just want to slide it up and off you can even run that down but that gets that hose out of the way now we haven't drained our coolant yet so our next step is going to be the coolant now another additional step is going to be removing your header that's on the back side right here ours is already gone but you're going to want to remove it now another thing while we're here not sure if you can see it or not but down in here we actually have our rear motor mount you want to go ahead and undo that as well but before you undo that make sure that your engine is being supported you can remove that as long as you still have your transmission mount that's down in this area you can remove that rear but that goes ahead that disconnects everything but the coolant lines All right. so so here you can see things a little bit better but your trans mount goes right here you can see i mean we're a good distance almost had enough clearance didn't quite but at this point you want to go ahead and drain your coolant there's a little pit cock that right there starts draining your coolant crack the radiator to help it drain faster your coolant system has quite a bit of fluid in it so you want to make sure that you have something underneath that can catch it all okay so it went ahead we got it drained now we're ready to take the hoses off now you'll notice we went ahead and we secured the engine these right here there's holes that go through the head we went ahead and hooked there here we're actually hooked to the motor mount right here we are actually hooked into a um an m8 hole which i don't particularly like but it's about all you have to hook on this side so there's not much we can do about it now time to remove the hose clamps you want to grab them make sure you have a nice grip on it and twist it pop it off now you'll notice that we are taking these off at the block not at the radiator the reason for that is is we can twist them up and hopefully not lose too much more fluid so that goes ahead that gets both of the clamps off at this point you want to be careful not to spill we actually have our open clutch right underneath we definitely don't want to get fluids on the clutch i'm going ahead and i'm just stuffing a paper towel in these stopping any fluid that might possibly want to run out you have the two in the back here you want to go ahead and unhook those Oh. 
and we just lost a lot of fluid. Fortunately, there's a lot of that I can't do much about. Trying to get this second one undone. are off. Now I'm going to clean up the mess. We are ready to go ahead and remove the engine and the transmission. Now, generally speaking, most of the time your engine and your transmission will come up together. I actually have them separated, not hooked up together. So ours will be a little bit different. At this point, the engine is fully supported. You start undoing the motor mount. Everything should be loose. You should be able to freely move the engine. My motor mounts are out. The engine is free moving. There's nothing left attaching it. You want to go ahead, run around on the engine make sure that there's nothing that you missed nothing in the way nothing that's going to catch that's definitely not what you want to do is catch things the key here to is to lift it slowly make sure that it's not binding on anything make sure that you're not hitting anything and Take your time, it'll save you in the long run. All right, so at this point, we have the engine completely out. We removed the clutch and the flywheel while it was in. We removed the starter on the one side to prevent it from catching anything once we had a little more space with it. We also ended up removing the passenger side motor mount. But we went ahead, we lifted the engine up, pushed it over, and then because our engine and transmission are separate, I went ahead and pushed the transmission back over, down, and pulled it out through the bottom. Due to the fact that my car is actually quite a bit up off the ground, I'd say it's a good foot and a half off the ground. We ended up having issues with the uh, engine hoist. Did not want to lift it completely up and out to clear. So we ended up having to reposition the motor on the ground inside the bay, take out some links, and then hoist it back up, 
that ended up giving us barely enough clearance that we squeezed it through this section here. I wish that it gave us a little more height, but nothing we can do about that. Now, that goes ahead, that tells you and shows you, hopefully, how to remove the engine and the transmission here in the next few weeks and the next few episodes. <clears throat> we'll be rebuilding our transmission. We've got some videos on it already, but we'll be rebuilding it, putting our LSD in, getting it ready to go back on. We have our clutch that's going to Clutch Masters. We're getting them to build a custom twin disc for it. So that concludes this week. We'll see you again next week.